Hey, I'm Billy Baru, and welcome to CRT. Hey everybody, I'm the new guy here at CRT. My name is Billy, aka Billy Baru. Spalding, this calls for the old Billy Baru. Um, avid Mopower lover. A little bit about myself, I run demolition derbies. I know that's frowned upon. And the Mopower, uh... So in other words, you take uh, perfectly good sea bodies um, and smash them. Yeah. Not perfect, I wouldn't say. Yeah. Some of them are on their way to the scrapyard anyway, so we're giving it that last ride. All right. Yeah, I enjoy working on mechanical stuff. And Billy's going to be here uh, full time as a full time technician, and he's going to do everything here in the shop while me and Lucas uh, are going to be building inside the build room. So I'm really looking forward to having. Billy Baru, which that's really not his last name. No. But I gave him that nickname. So what we got cooking here, Billy, what are we working on and what the hell broke? Well, the adjuster for the push rod came loose and the push rod fell down into the intake. What happened was I took the truck to hot bomb to drop off the pressure or the uh, separator plate for um, the Caspermatic to have an update done to it. And I drove there, what, about a week ago? And when I got back in the truck to drove back, it was ticking. Tick, 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 tick. I added two quarts of oil because it sounded like a real loud lifter tip. Didn't change anything, it had 60 pounds of oil pressure. So uh, I'm like, well, I got to go back to the shop. I drove back to the shop, and then it stopped ticking, and it had a dead hole. So I thought for sure a lifter broke or something to that effect. I was ready for the worst. So Billy took off the valve covers. Uh-oh. Don't talk about me now. I hear everything. Come on in. And I got a nice collection of guns, too. Okay, so we... <laughs> Speak into the microphone so the FBI can hear you, Don. <laughs> they're big and they're fast. What you... Sorry, it took so long. No, don't no worry about it. it. Was everything okay with the police there the other day? Some jackass came in there with a, that Mercedes. Yeah. They even had the locking lug nut tool to take the lug right, nuts right. So Jake tells him, you don't want to do this. Oh, just use one of those sockets over there. <laughs> It'll work in case thing. It's a special, on that Mercedes, it's, uh -huh. a, it's a special tool to get them off. Right. Oh, just take them off. I get them off all the time. Well, apparently somebody's been taking them off for a while because now we got them off and we can't get them back on. The guy says, you're going to pay me for that. And he says, Are you kidding me? Yeah. Is that the guy who called the police then? Yeah. So, oh. Jay says, I ain't paying you nothing. And he says, you told me to take it off and you use that socket? And he said, I told you. No, oh, well. I got to have a little life around here. Uh, I know. Uh, so anyway. I know. Oh, so anyways, I brought it back to the shop. And Billy today just pulled off the valve covers and found the push rod. Down in the just lay in there and... The rocker arm just came loose, so it was an easy fix. Thank you. 
So now we got the rockers off, the uh, valve covers off, and Billy just got done tightening all the rockers to make sure. And he, well, there's only a few loose on this side. Yeah, the other side was so, dead on. We're gonna put the valve covers back on. And when I say we, I mean Billy Baru. And we're gonna fire it up and see how it runs. Then it's a uh, burnout time, right, yeah, Billy Boy? Yeah, yeah. Let's see. It. Question. Go ahead. How come we're working and Lucas isn't? Lucas decided. Where is Lucas, by the way? Lucas decided that in the middle of the week would be a great time to go on a skiing trip. Skiing? Where do you go to the West Alps? But this upscale resort town in the Bernese Oberland region of the Swiss Alps hosts some of the world's most rich and famous people during the holiday season. No idea. He went hobnobbing up there with all the rich people, yep. having uh, cheese and crackers up there with. Um... Well, hell, didn't your sister go? Yeah. Pardon me, would you have any gray poupon? Yeah, she got bit, by the way. She what do you mean, bit? bit? She got bit by a dog in her leg the day before. The Whose leg. dog? Our dog. You're kidding me. Nope. What happened there? Well, her dog is an asshole, and our dog is old. And they got into it, and Maddie stepped in between them. And uh, her dog got a hold of the old dog, and the old dog got a hold of Maddie. Ah. So right now, they're probably on top of the mountain. Taste testing cheese and crackers. Cheese and crackers. And uh, uh, sipping wine with the, all the rich folks while we're sitting here slaving, working our asses off. Anyway, apparently I have to get back to work. This is bullshit. That's funny. She only drinks truly. <laughs> you want to say something that busts his balls? Now's the time. It's just kind of like that. You set it on there, and it, which it, when you you move it, track it follows your face. Really? For what? Your phone? Yeah. So you you just, make movies? So I could do tick my TikToks. And, you do TikToks? Yeah. Oh, we'll have to check it out. Yeah. Tell the people where your TikTok is. Uh, Billy Baru at TikTok.com. My TikTok is called Rex Cars a lot. Oh, jeez. You mean fuck up Mopars? Yeah. <laughs> um, Instagram's Imperial 1976. What, Billy boy, there is no such thing. what in the world is going on with Mr. Haney? Oh, uh, well, I think the rear end's kind of... The rear end housing... The rear end housing is bent or something. Is getting sent to Strange. I, I believe it is bent. This doesn't look very good. Yeah, yeah it also doesn't... I mean, they, they got a jig, they can put that on. To tell us if it's if it's bent or not, but I'm pretty sure it's bent. Yeah, the axle was really tough to pull out. Oops. Get some more B-roll on it. So Billy Brew got the snowplow put on uh, put on the dually, and we're supposed to in about a week or so have a pretty decent storm show up and so we got the transfer case fixed i had to put another chain in which is like the third one it's like the third chain i had to put in there and what i think what's happening is the transmission shifts so hard and it thumps every time that uh it stretches the chain out in about a year or so so i think um this spring before i start driving it again i'm going to turn down the pressures and calm down the blurry fucking camera again what is with this fucking thing? All right, expect to see more of Billy Brew in the future. Billy, 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 Billy. Whoa, Billy, Billy, Billy. All right, Billy boy, let's see if this thing runs. Let me tell you something about the ignition key. You 
can't go all the way, you gotta come back a little bit. Still a little loud. Let's give it a little gas. Let's give it a little gas. That belt, shut off. That belt's looser now than it was before. Then let's take the number off of that and let's call um, loser zone. And see if they can't get us one that's like a half inch shorter. Yeah, because you're like I said, also you're already out on the that nut and that carburetor when you were trying to accelerate it was kind of bending a yes. little bit. Oh yeah. So maybe you can straighten that thing out too. But I'm gonna have to call and see what the adjustment is. I'm not exactly sure um, what it is. I thought I got to find out because I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's a hydraulic cam, so it doesn't have any lash. But I have to find out. I'm gonna yeah, message was, Bobo. Uh, it was valve was closed. Tightened down the the it went, flathead screw and then yeah. Um, did what you said a quarter. I, of extra I need to find turn. out. But I don't know. You know, the people down there at AutoZone are total dumbasses. Yeah, they're gonna go 435. What? So you need like a. Are those numbered for length? I actually... I, I'm pretty sure that last number, that 435, if I can remember correctly, that, that was, that's like the length of the belt. So, uh -huh. so that you would... I think it goes 30 to, to 30, 430. Well, see if they can do that. But you're, yeah, because you're tapped out here yeah. on the adjuster. I mean, we fixed it, but the, we're going to have to pull that valve cover back off and readjust. Um, that one rocker. It was the intake on number seven. So, yeah, we'll do that. Two, yeah, but at least we don't have to pull the motor out, right? No, shouldn't. Just whatever with that. All right. Now we only, only take that side apart. Thanks, Billy boy. Sorry for the poor quality of that video. I asked them to email it to me and said they sent it through a text. Uh, it was too big of a file. Um, they got a, a SD card. Sounds like they fired up a power wagon. Um, thank you Mopar Joe for that heads up on that. I don't hear no ticking from in here in the office. Um, great advice. Thank you very much. But um, the, the Casper Matic, uh, that video was sent to two different telephones and by the time it got to me, the quality was just, was just not very good, so I apologize that. But I, I, have, I have a couple pictures that are quite clear and I, I want to show those to you right now. I'm going to have more video and I'm, I'm going to keep you guys 
updated man I, I tell you what I get more and more calls every day asking to be put on a waiting list for this valve body um, and we're definitely going to be on time to have this thing ready by um, April 1st so that that is good so I'm gonna go through these pictures with you real quick this first one is just the piece a chunk of billet with all the main holes drilled into it um, the bolt holes and I see there's a there's a, a couple passages ones for the lockup and, um, and and that's before before it's going to get machined um, just sitting in there in the fixture waiting to go uh, this picture is um, one of the outline uh, where they were just doing the outline of the valve body um, this this next and last one is probably the coolest one you could you can really start to see the valve body I see where the trans brake solenoid is going to amount to the two holes the feed and the exhaust for the trans brake the clearance for the solenoid and if you look towards the left I'm sorry towards the right a little bit of the picture you can see the test of the valve um, for the low reverse passage and then the, the, the main feed for the manual valve um, it we're really, really coming along. It, it, we are making progress really good. I'm very happy about that. The guys at Hot Pot Machine make me look good. I, I cannot thank those guys enough. Um, also, I ordered uh, this week, um, I think this first batch of Al bodies is going to be 30. And once the, the batch is done, I mean, I'm going to have one Val body it's going to come to me um, just to make sure all the fit and finish and everything is correct and any updates or like a one bolt hole is just not perfect I have to make sure that that gets corrected before the next batch um, I ordered uh, 65 separator plates um, I ordered a hundred and 55 separator plate gaskets so one for the top one for the bottom and then I ordered 500 because in springs you have to order them in big bulk I ordered 500 pressure regulator springs so the pressure regulator springs are going to be waiting the separator plates going to be waiting and the separator plate gaskets so I mean there's I, there's no there's no obstructions everything is the ball is rolling um, the Caspermatic is 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 so close. I mean, all this. I mean, it's been a short time, but um, to me, it's a lot of hours, a lot of a lot of hours wrapped up into this. So, I'm excited about it. I ain't gonna be able to have one in my own car because I'm a Chrysler guy. Um, but it's um, it's really gonna be neat. I um, I can't wait. Um, I, I I will probably most likely have valve body 001 in my hands next week now originally was discussing with a friend you know like well how should I number this you know like should I make the one that I made a homemade one 001 um, but I didn't do that with my torque flight valve bodies so like Shane Pleto's got trans brake number one um, 001 but I made three prototypes before that and they were just prototypes so I figured I was going to do the same thing again and just number these these valve bodies as production so that it's the 001 of production um, and I already talked to Andy Wood I, I, I promised him 002 so he's going to have the I and mean, really it's the first like this is the very first one they're running one valve body all by itself that's it then there's gonna be a batch of 30 so there'll be 31 production valve bodies out there the first one's coming to me by itself then the batch of 30 so actually it's gonna be the first valve body run in the batch but it's gonna be numbered zero 
zero too. So, and it's really doesn't matter. I mean, it, when Andy's going down the street, you know, at 70 miles an hour at 21 or 2200 RPMs, he ain't gonna give a rat's ass what the number on the valve body is. So, um, that's all I got for now, guys. Um, uh, we got a new guy. Um, I'm really excited about that. Billy's worked for me in the past before. So, um, me and him always got along great. I don't know how. Um, unlike Devin here. I don't know. Don't forget that one, too. All right, I'm out here. Mopar to you. See you in the next one.